Hey YouTube, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, how I replaced uh, my old uh, garage door opener from outside, it's a wireless one. And here's the new one. So what was happening is I re put a brand new battery in, nothing happened, tried reprogramming it from the garage door opener where you hit the learn button and you type in your code, nothing happened so i assume the remote finally puked out so here we are we're going to put the new one in and uh let's get started Yep, looks good. All the instructions. Yeah, comes with new screws. Okay. So I guess... Let's move on from here. Okay. So that's the only screw that holds this unit in and then the, the body comes up and off and you'll see that here in a second. So when you screw the when you put the screw in when you first set them up they don't go flush to the to the, the wood here they stay out a little ways and then it goes up and behind in that slot right right in there so hopefully you can see it so it'll go up and then it slides down and that's and then you put your screw in okay I turned off the lights and uh, let's get started. So we're gonna press and hold the, the asterisk and the pound key. I'm gonna enter my four digit code. I'll do this off camera. Okay, so I did that. So I'm going to hit the enter button one time since that's how many, or I'm sorry, that's what my uh, learn button on the remote is. It's, it's a yellow button, so I'm going to hit that one time. I'm going to press and release the zero button. I'm gonna press and release the learn button. Okay. I'm gonna re-enter my four digit code and then hit enter. Enter. Now I don't know if it picked up on camera, but the, I heard a click in here so it tells me that it learned it now all i have to do is press to oh, i'm sorry the test now i enter my pin number and press the enter button and let's see if the garage door closes well how about that It worked. Okay, let's enter it again and have it open. All right, well, 
Well, let's go outside and uh, we'll put this unit back up on the wall. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the existing screw that I was here since it's already set and just gonna line that up in there. Slide it down. And don't know if it's showing up on camera. But there's the, the old mounting hole. So I'll just uh, put in a new screw for that. Yeah, you don't want to over tighten that. You don't have to crank on that thing. So let's put the battery back in. And then we get the cover. So kind of how this works is they, it kind of goes, that lip goes up underneath. You have to kind of play around a little bit here. It snaps down, then you push up. And that's it. So it's all done. Okay, everyone, I'm all done. Uh, this process really wasn't too bad to do. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully I went through all the steps pretty good, uh, explaining to you guys as far as how it was done. Um, if so, if you found it helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Yeah. And uh, you can subscribe. Okay, so that's that part. So when you buy your garage door opener, you get these remotes that go on your cars. So, uh, I don't think you can see those. I'm gonna have another video I'm gonna do after this, uh, explain how to take the batteries out of this and replace them because yeah, these have kinda puked out too. Okay, I just wanna say thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned for this video coming up also, and we'll see you again.